Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd and Korea. We are continuing our budget MTG upgrades, and we're looking at blood tokens this time. Uh, all right, so if you can hit like and subscribe, it is a big help. We are still a, dro a growing channel, so we definitely need the uh, support. So if you don't mind, also, if you want to contact me, MTG Nerd and Korea is a great way to do that. All right. For budget on this video, I'm saying $1 or less. Okay, and that is, yeah, that is going to be, for this video, usually it's under $2. I actually managed to get this one under $1 by accident. It always, when it's under a dollar, I'm like, oh, huh, it worked out that well. Hmm. <clears throat> Tech upgrades. Okay, so blood tokens are an extremely useful tool in a deck. Um, blood tokens are mostly red. Red is usually not good at card draw. So this is kind of like pseudo card draw. Um, it isn't really card advantage. It lets you discard a card and then draw a card. So it's rummaging, it's not really card advantage. Uh, yeah, you need a card to like get rid of to get a card. So in that way, it's maybe not as good as just card draw. But card sorting can do a lot too. This can be very useful if you're looking for effects like Madness or Delirium, where you want to get a whole bunch of different types of cards or a number of cards into your graveyard, you can uh, do that very easily with this. So this gives you a lot of control over what you're putting into your graveyard, which can be very, very useful with really a bunch of different strategies. But anyway... Number 5. Vora, Insatiable Air is a uh, one and a red for a one one with trample. Always when the the is like a low power with trample, you go like, uh, what's that all about? Well, let's see. Uh, so again, she enters the battlefield, create a blood token. Sure. Oh, sorry, enters the battlefield or does count combat damage, create a blood token. So that's not bad. And whenever you discard a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on her. So every time you use a blood token, discard a card, you're going to draw a card and she gets a, a plus one, plus one. This is also very useful with many decks where if you're discarding for whatever reason, she's going to keep getting those plus one, plus one counters. So she'll get big very quickly. If you've got a deck with a, like a madness deck or something, she synergizes very nicely with. Anyway, 70 cents. Number four, Moonstone Eulogist. Okay, this is our background art. Three black black for a four four flyer. It's all right, only because it's a flyer, maybe that's okay. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you create a blood token. Especially in black, this is just such a good ability to have. Um, if you are doing any kind of thing with blood tokens, you want to have this for sure. Whenever you sacrifice an artifact, put a plus one, plus one counter on him and gain one life. So this is going to get big quickly. If you're sacrificing artifacts, again, they don't, it just says artifact, right? Sacrifice an artifact, it doesn't say sacrifice a blood token specifically. Blood tokens are artifacts, but you could also sacrifice um, treasure. You could sacrifice clues, food, um, even just regular artifacts that benefit by sacrificing them. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with that. Anyway, 42 cents only. Not bad. Number three. It's actually very similar to the last one. It has lifelink instead of flying. So three and a black for a three, four. It also has partner, but we're gonna come back to that. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you gain one life and create a blood token. Again, gaining one life, creating a blood token. Very nice little bit of synergy there. Um, it's something that's nice to have for sure. Also it has partner with uh, Lorene the Diver Diversion. Uh, this is also like a seven cent card. So let's look at Lorene. And as you can tell, a lot of um, blood token things are Rakdos, right? So they're black red. Um, probably want to go even Mardu with that, but whatever, anyway. I'm not, that's a whole different conversation. So yeah, she is two and a red for a 3-3 three, three first strike. 
you can pay two sacrifice artifact or creature goad target creature goad is actually really good it means they have to attack someone else also they have to attack with that creature and because that creature attacked it's going to be tapped and cannot block so it just does a whole bunch of things like Goad might sound underpowered, but it's really not. Um, you, if you can goad enough of their creatures, you can just take the win. Number two, Drefan Morer Progenitor. Morer? Okay. Uh, two, Rakdos, black, red, for a 3-2 flyer. This is very much a commander. This is obviously something you built with the commander in mind. At the beginning of your end step, create a blood token for each player who lost life this turn. You want to have like non-combat automatic damage going if you have him for sure. And red and black are both very good at doing that, so it won't be hard to pull off. And whenever he attacks, you may sacrifice two blood tokens. If you do, you may put a vampire card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until end of turn. So you're just throwing an extra vampire in. Doesn't matter the casting cost. For two blood tokens, you can get a free vampire in. And that is going to be indestructible its first turn. Again, blood tokens are going to allow you to sort your hand really well. And yeah, you're probably going to be able to load up on vampires easily enough. And then he's going to cheat those vampires in and make them indestructible. Like, oh... That's a lot of, you can do a lot of damage with that. Anyway, 44 cents only, boy. Number one, okay, Transmutation Font. This is five for this artifact. You can tap it to create your choice of a blood token, clue token, or a food token. Gives you a lot of options there. And for three, you could tap it, sacrifice uh, three artifact tokens you with different names. Three artifact tokens with different names is not hard to do. Remember, that does not include, for instance, servos, any kind of artifact creature. You can make a whole bunch of different types of artifact creatures very, very easily and just sack them and then here's what you're gonna do. Search your library for an artifact card, tutor, put it on, onto the battlefield, then shuffle. You're just going and getting any artifact you want throwing it straight into the battlefield it doesn't matter its cost it doesn't matter anything so yeah you can get all kinds of like really pricey uh kinds of um of artifacts and then you can just throw them straight into the battlefield and then yeah you're fine doesn't matter anyway 78 cents only oh a list okay Ivoria, Insatiable Air is 70 cents. Moonstone, Eulogist is 42 cents. Kambar, Plunderer is 8 whole cents. Trefan, Moro Progenitor is 44 cents. Transmutation Font is 78 cents. Alright, take it easy.